Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Better go earn our pathetic wages. I swear, this town's going straight to hell. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. The canary says he'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walks. Stripped off me at the grand jury. Case is thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. The guy gave his wife a tap. I said, I'll stare and love it. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You were on fire today, I understand. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. The car's down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Any messages? I'm sorry, Detective. Thanks, ma'am. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks.
Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? I was wearing my glasses. They had the headlights on. I'd say I was a dang sight more observant than you, son. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Those no account beaners used to own the whole of Los Angeles, but we ran them off. How about you get okay, on so with catching the owner of the vehicle. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. This is a secure area. You all need to leave. Seems like a nice boy, putting all those hoodlums in jail. Wake up, Cole. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's that school officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? 
How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. I swear, this town's going straight to hell. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? Are you kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac, we'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. One left.
Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Hey, which wiseacre used the half inch and didn't replace it? What are we waiting for? 